I was once a child in foster care. So it's really beautiful to uh, be a part of a film like this, but for this to be my first major film as an actress, um, it's like it came full circle. So it, it's, it's a beautiful experience. Being a kid in care has made me into a very resilient young woman. Um, it's helped me to love myself. It's helped me to grow. It's helped me to understand that where you come from, it doesn't dictate where you're going. Um, if you can get through that, then there isn't anything that you can't do. I saw so much of myself in Lizzie because just like Lizzie's character, she had to be the parent for her siblings. That's how I've always felt, like I was the parent for my siblings. You know, I'm the third oldest out of six, but I've always felt like I am the one that has to be the big influence for my younger siblings. Like I have to set a precedent. I have to be successful so that they can look up to me, so that they can know, it, because my big sister did it, that I can do it. It just makes the film that much stronger because he's passionate. You can feel the love. This is probably one of the best sets I've ever been on because it's authentic, it's positive. You can feel it around the room. And everybody, that's the same consistent thing everybody keeps saying. You can tell it, you can feel it from the actors, you can feel it from the crew. It's authentic and it's real. I'm so thankful for him. I'm so grateful because there hasn't been a film like this at all, where you could actually bring together a, something that's as serious as uh, the foster care system and what children in care go through, and then you add a little humor to it. Because for some reason people think that the system is so dark. And it doesn't have to be. There are so many positive things that are attached to also being in the system, like the adoption process. It's a beautiful thing when you can pair a young person with a forever family so that they don't have to be alone anymore. Mark and Rose are absolutely phenomenal. I don't, I can't see anyone else playing Pete and Ellie. That's the great thing about this film is because it's not just a comedy that's just laugh, laugh, laugh. It's something that has an amazing message. It's something that's about family. And it's something about an issue that's so often swept under the rug that needs to be addressed. So why not add a little laughter, add a little light to it, but really hit home the points that matter the most. A lot of times when you are in care, the only thing that you're really left to do when you're what maybe in your group home or you're in your home is you cut on the television and you watch TV and sometimes watching television is your way to escape. And I'll be honest with you, that was my way to escape my situation because sometimes watching TV or dreaming is, is the only way to dream outside of those walls, you know? Um, and it's like, I'm flipping through the channels and I don't see anybody that looks like me or feels like me. And when I say that, I'm referring to being a child in care. I'm not talking about particularly about race or anything. I'm talking about being a child in care because that is what sets us apart and you want something that you can relate to. You wanna be able to cut on the television and see somebody who may not be with their biological parents. And I think that's what this film does. It creates a lane for that. It creates a lane for kids to understand that you can have a happy ending. There are a lot of kids who go through care and they end up aging out of the system. What about those kids? You know, where's hope for those kids? What about the kids who maybe are born into care? Or maybe the, the teenagers that feel like nobody wants them? This film addresses all of those issues and that is what I love about it the most. It doesn't just tackle one particular issue or one age group or, or one type of child. It's so diverse. All I can think about is what the amazing people have done for me 
that may not have been my mom or my dad, but the ones that have stepped in and saved me. I'm going to be honest, I may not even be here today if it weren't for those people. The people who chose to love me when I didn't love myself. The people who took a chance on me. The people that I pushed away. The people that I fought. The people that, when they said I love you, I questioned. I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for them. Um, but the love that I have, the love that <sighs> they give me, the love that we share, it is unbreakable. And even though they didn't birth me, um, the love is still the same. Love is still love. Uh, I'm so thankful for them. And I just pray and I hope that uh, somebody sees this film and they decide to take the chance on a child. That they decide to open up their heart to a child that needs love. Every time I, I, I meet somebody and, and I see an opportunity to share my story, I tell them, hey, I was one of those kids. I am a kid from Karen, and, and this is what has become of me. Um, so every opportunity that I get, I, I take pride in where I come from now. Now I do. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm so, I was, I was ashamed before, but I'm not ashamed anymore. I'm, I'm so thankful that Sean had the courage to tell his story. I'm so thankful that he had the courage to say, I want to foster, I want to adopt. I'm so thankful because people all over the world need to know this message. They need to know about what children in care are going through. They need to know that we're just kids and we just want to be loved. One of the things that I would always like get sad about is because I would always see my friends with their family and I would always wonder like, man, like, why did my mom and my dad have to get taken away? Like, and that's probably the one thing that most kids still like get sad about. But when you can find somebody who genuinely loves you for you and it's real and then for, for that person who has taken that leap of faith to love you, to share that with the world. Wow. I am so deeply touched that he had the nerve to do that. And, and I know without a doubt that this film will change the world. And it will change so many people's heart. And it will educate the world on what it means to have a real instant family. Uh.